So nowadays people are building scripts or trying to do things manually. The thing is there are hundreds and thousands of repositories nowadays, so it's very, very hard to have a centralized policy to control everything that happens. So if you lose control, you might end up uh, having different stuff in your code that you did not want. So you might have bad secrets in your code, or your repositories might be not aligned, and you would have, and you would be using the wrong version of your AWS SDK, for example. So by using the tree, the architect or the DevOps or anyone from uh, the uh, team can define a policy, and then for every pull request that you do, it, the policy will be checked. It will be checked ac according to the policy, and it will help you understand if you're using the right version or if you're working according to the best practices of the organization. We build a policy engine on top of your Git repositories. You need that in order for you to uh, align uh, all of your uh, repositories and to bring a, a centralized policy in order to drive your best, pra best practices across your organization. Our customers are mainly R&D organizations that have more than, I'd say, 20 developers. And usually uh, we talk with uh, someone from the architecture team, maybe a DevOps engineer, architect, uh, someone who looks broadly on all of the organization and he tries to drive cross-organizational policies. So for example, he wants to align all of the different repositories, but nowadays he has no way of doing so. He's just sending an email and you know everyone gets the email, but they have more important things to do. So by using the tree, when they are inside the workflow, they would open a pull request and they would get a, a notification and a check will tell them if they're working according to the best practices and the policies that the architect or the DevOps uh, put in place. So we're having lots of fun. We have lots of customers from Israel and from the United States. It's very, very fun working with R&D organizations because we feel like we're building this tool for ourselves, but actually our customers are very similar. So it's really, really fun doing something that you believe in. And it's actually, we initially started this company because we felt the pain. And, and now we can help other organizations do that. Because we started by building unmaintainable scripts in order to try to tackle this issue. And now we build this platform and many organizations are transitioning into using that. Because this is not their core business. They want to focus on their business. Like they use the cloud and they focus on their thing instead of running servers.